So just another quick video about stem separation in virtual DJ 2023, and more precisely about the changes that have been made, the option that's been added uh, during the last couple of months because it's been going pretty fast. So right now, I'm at build 7445. So that may not be the one you're looking at because it changes quite a bit. So if you have a newer build, um, you may have other options. But right now, in 7445, these are, the, <coughs> these are the options. So we're going to performance, and it's all about the top one, stems real-time separation. So now it's set to prepared, which is the default. And it now has five of them, as you can see. But before we start looking into this, let's just go back and check this, because we, in this list we have a few that has this little stems icon next to them, right? That means they have prepared stems on them. Um, so of course, if I use those, doesn't really matter which type of stem separation, except for disabled, that I use, because it'll just work like this. So it works, and it stems 2 by 0 and it's ready. And even though I jump around, it just continues working because it's already been prepared, right? So Virtual DJ is not doing any stem separation at the moment. It's just, just using the stems that's already there. So with that out of the way, let's go into the options again. So we look here, and we have these five. And uh, let's just start with the default one, prepare. So what does that do? Well, that just lets you play like always if you want to. So of course, we're going to skip these two top ones because they have prepared stems already. So they're not really interesting right here. But let's just go into this one, for instance. And I load it, and you can say, see, it says Computing Stems Deck 1. And it'll do that for a little while, uh, like that. And that's because it's separating 1.0 stems. Because this laptop is pretty slow. It doesn't have a GPU, so it would take more than a minute to compute it. But it did it pretty fast, and that's because it's 1.0 stems. It doesn't stay here yet. It still says 2.0. But if I play the track, and I touch anything, you get this pop-up saying, well, uh, your laptop is probably not cut out for what you're doing. Uh, so you probably want to prepare these stems. And until you prepare these stems, it's going to use the old 1.0 version of stems. That's also fine. It's reduced quality. So you can just click this button and use reduced quality. Or you can click this, pick this button and then it prepared stems so they're ready for the next time you want to play this track and, of course, use the stem options. So like you probably noticed, nothing happened until I clicked some kind of stem separation feature by removing the hi-hat and then this pop-up came. And that's, like I said, that's the default and that's probably also a good idea because that explains it a lot, right? So nobody's going to be surprised about what's happening because they always get this pop-up if their stem separation mode is still the default. So that's all good and well. Uh, so that's the default. Let's go back to some of the other ones. So let's start with the top one. So that's always. So always, always tries to run stems 2.0. So let's really reload the track. And it'll again say computing stems. And I'll um, still try to compute these stems. And now it's trying to compute stems 2.0. So it'll take a long time. So we're not going to wait for that. We're just going to wait for this little tick to go like this, because now we know that stems are ready for the first few seconds, because that's where it starts preparing, right? So I'll go like this. I can see it in your eyes. And it works. And it's stem 2.0. But if I jump to anywhere else in the track, it won't use stems at all. And why not? Well, because you ask it not to. You ask it to only do stems 2.0. So it'll just always start trying to separate wherever you're at, and that takes a long time. It's not going to switch to the uh, the lower quality, reduced quality mode, because you asked it not to. It should always be stems 2.0. Now it's ready again. But only for a few seconds, because this laptop is so slow. So now it's done, and it's not doing stems at all. She, yeah, all the music's back, even though we reduce basically all of it, except the vocals. So that's the always. So that's only really good for really fast laptops, right? Okay. 
So let's go back then. So the next one uh, is a demand, and that's the new one. That's probably the most interesting new one. So what's that do? Well, if we unload this track again, so we set it, and we just load it again, you can see, again, it does computing stems state one, just like before, in the always mode, and also in the prepared mode, because this is a bit of a go between those two. So it'll start computing. But only for a little while on this slow, slow laptop, and that's because it's gonna prepare only stems 1.0. So now when I play, you can see, see it goes into stems fast with this reduced quality. You can also see it because you get this bleed setting, right? So like that. But then it'll, it starts computing again. So it's actually trying to do stems 2.0 on the fly and it'll go back and forth between the two when it can. So now it switches back to Tim's 2.0 because we triggered this and I queued it so it went back to the queue point. So now when I do it again, I can see it it's in high quality, it's in Stem 2.0. But if I jump to another place and track, like using this, uh, you can see now it's fast, it stems 1.0 again. If I queue again, it goes back to this place it starts calculating like crazy for the 2.0 stems because, and now it's ready for this little area for stems 2.0. And now it's back to stems 1.0, now it's at stems 2.0. So it'll go back and forth when it can. So see, now it's stems 1.0 again. And if I pause it, It'll be a while and then we'll get stems 2.0 at this point in the track. But it starts around the cue points. So you get the to get the good quality at your mix point because that's where most people probably use stems the most, unless you use it to do remixes and um, <clears throat> and uh, mashups and stuff like that. It's a, a lot of people just use them for like the mixing point, right? To remove vocals while mixing, uh, or do only vocals while, while mixing and stuff like that. And now it's back to stems 2.0. It is precise place in the track. So this is probably the one that a lot of people are going to start using because, well, you don't need to prepare anything. It's not going to ask you if you want to prepare anything. It's just going to spend its time when you start. It's going to do the steps 1.0 separation when you load the track and it's going to start doing the best it can with steps 2.0 whenever you trigger stems. And if you do that at a cue point and test it a couple of times before you, by preparing your mix in your headphones, then the Stem 2.0 will be ready for when you actually decide to mix, even on pretty slow laptops. So I think this this uh, this one, the on-demand one that we're looking at right now, is a pretty cool one that a lot of people are probably going to use. But let's just go back to the last two. So we already did the prepared one because that's the default. So reduce quality is, of course, pretty simple. That's if you have a slow laptop and you don't want to deal with Stem 2.0. So, uh, I'll just load the track again. Sorry. And I've, of course, it computes the stems again, but only the, the 1.0 stems. So it'll be a few seconds. And then when we play, I can see it in your eyes. it'll just be fast, which means reduced quality, and we get the beat settings. And you can see when we jump around, it doesn't start computing stems again. It's just satisfied that it already has the stems 1.0. And we set that we just want to use the stems 1.0 by using reduced quality. So that's like the one that's like not using too much resources on your laptop, whatever you do. It's not going to try to boost everything up to stems 2.0. It's just going to stay on reduced quality. And then of course, finally, that's the off, that some people have requested, how do I actually turn this off? And that's of course disabled, and it's actually now been renamed to fully disabled, that's pretty funny. So it's called fully disabled, so now when I, uh, I load the track again, nothing will happen regarding stems, and if I try to use the stems, nothing will happen, it's not going to start computing, it's not going to complain, it's not going to do anything here, it's just going to not use stems, because you 
disable them so nothing happens when you click all these buttons. Nothing at all. So that was just a quick go through of the uh, the current stem uh, separation options. The, the, the main one, the stems real time separation, up here, but now has five. But like I said, this is built 7445, so it might be totally different in a couple of months' time when you watch this video, maybe. Uh, so please check, uh, check back. Maybe I've done a new video at that point. But this is where it has kind of landed uh, right now within the last couple of months. So these are the current options in Virtual DJ 2023.